in that movie. I couldn't even get a three-line part, and he starred in it. And as long as he's not here, anyway, let me just share the secret. He is talent-free. <laughs> <laughs> not that, okay, you don't want to be harsh to a fellow actor, to the community. Then again, and it's not that, okay, I am a little bitter. But that doesn't change that. Bruce is the king of everything, and Jake is the crown prince. All right, all right, let's think of this as a play. Bruce is Richard III, Jake is Henry V, you are spear carrier number seven, got it? Yeah. Oh. Man, I love this set. See the castle? Lumi? It's gorgeous, right? It just says Kafka to me, you know? Castle. Try. Kafka. <laughs> 2.3 million dollars. That's how much they paid you to make that terrible movie? $2.3 million? It's not that much after agents and lawyers and taxes, you know. It doesn't go that far. It doesn't go far? It's millions of dollars. How does that not go far? It just doesn't. Wow. You know, I have to say I have read the play, but I don't understand the play. You don't understand the play? Do you understand the play? Of course. What's it about? It's about meaning. <laughs> You know, you might have been thinking that for one reason or another, you decided to bury the prop gun under the 16 tons of unwashed laundry you have so cleverly strewn about your dressing room, Jake. Sorry, I set it down and I was looking for the script I wanted to look at and I moved a pile of stuff. Yeah, that stuff would be your underwear. The prop gun was underneath your underwear. You used underwear. Oh man, sorry, Roxanne. No, I'm not talking to you right now. 